Now, the health minister pointed out today that while health officials are set to discuss rising COVID-19 cases, this doesn't mean tighter restrictions are on the way. All this as the emergency orders are set to expire next month and the country awaits more COVID-19 vaccine doses. Here's Cleopatra Murphy. There will be no immediate legislation to replace the existing emergency COVID-19 orders set to expire on August 13th. This despite rising COVID-19 infections that last week saw 100 new COVID-19 cases in just one day and deaths in the double digits. Attorney General Senator the Honorable Carl Bethel previously said that some form of legal framework would have to be put in place, but Wells says that can take place after, despite the House of Assembly not set to meet until September 22nd. I think there is a health and safety um, act that really speaks to, even in, in, in the normal course of business, that it is the requirement of the institution that is servicing people to the institution is supposed to ensure the safety of the folk who are coming, the customers, as well as the employees in that institution are supposed to ensure the safety of those clients. So whether we are in, regard, in, in, this, in a pandemic sort of setting, it does not preclude any sort of business, a restaurant, from saying, if the emergency orders expires, listen, if you're coming into my restaurant, I want you to sanitize. You know, I want you to do a temperature test check. I want to space my chairs out a particular way inside my restaurant. The Minister of Health's comments come as Director of the National HIV AIDS and Infectious Disease Program, Dr. Nakia Forbes, says a much more transmissible Delta variant could already be in the country, and health officials say healthcare workers and the healthcare system itself is already under strain, something Wells admits. Uh, when you take up the bad spaces for COVID patients, there are less bad spaces to be able to deal with the other issues in our health sector and in our health sphere. Uh, when you take up bad spaces to deal particularly with those who are um, suffering from COVID, uh, you end up having to put additional personnel there, additional personal protective equipment, and it, it, the list goes on and on. So it, it, is a, it is and has been a huge cost to this country in terms of uh, manpower, in terms of, of, of treasure, a blood, sweat, and tears in many ways. He says the country has been on a roller coaster in addressing the recent jump in COVID-19 cases, however, suggesting a link to the Independence Day holiday. Usually there's a, a little uptake in, in cases about seven, eight days, five to seven, eight, 14 days out from any sort of major holiday. We've just come through the entire weekend of independence. And um, so uh, folks would have gotten together in groups on beaches, in their homes, celebrating our independence. And obviously, we would have expected, given the fact that we have had positive cases in the country, that there would have been an uptick. The Minister of Health also weighed in on the future of the travel health visa once emergency orders expire, something he says Cabinet will have to consider. The United States has moved beyond certain restrictions, no mask mandate and other restrictions inside of the United States, but they have but they have kept the test for entrance into their country. Uh, so we're going to have to look at it. We're going to have to assess it. And obviously we will take the recommendation of our health team into consideration in deciding whether or not we actually keep the requirements of having to have an RT-PCR test to come into the Bahamas. As for the arrival of the promised doses of the Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine, there is no definitive date. Well, says those are expected to arrive in August, hopefully the first week, through the Caribbean portal. Cleopatra Murphy, ZNS Network News. If you missed anything, we've got you covered. Subscribe to our ZNS Network YouTube channel and follow us on our social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, for breaking news, live event coverage, web exclusives, and much more.